Hey guys, Professor Bell, Comic Book University, and Category Zero, issue number one, out of Scout Comics. How you doing? All right, so this thing came out like a while ago, I think like two weeks ago. Oops, it was not on my radar, and I walk into the comic book shop a week ago, and it's waiting for me, like personalized and everything. You see, it's actually like signed, and at first I was at the my podcast I just put out recently on Saturday. I was like, you know, I'm kind of bothered by this guy. If he knew me at all, he would know how to personalize it because I don't sell my comic books. We well, actually did personalize it. Once I took it out of the bag, I could realize that on the back. Um, love that there's a the huge scout on the back. Definitely try and bring up that name because if you're going to have good comic books like this, you probably want to advertise the name. Anyway, let's talk about this comic book and then I'll throw a little praise its way. We got writer, letterer, Adam uh, Kiamel. Sorry, Adem Kiemel. Doing the best I can, guys. Doing the best I can. Uh, but, you know, that's my weak point. Pronouncing names. <laughs> Illustrator, Ton Lima. Um, colorist, Derek Dow. And Scout Production, David Byrne. I don't know what the production is for Scout, but the guy's name is Byrne. And you got the name Byrne? You flaunt the freaking name Byrne. I don't care if your name is Hakamalaka Byrne. You freaking flaunt it, all right? You might want to initialize the first letter, H Byrne. Just do it, all right? Do it. So, yeah, this is out of Scout Comics. I've read a couple things out of them, and um, I think I might start reading a little bit more just based off of this. Uh, by the way, guys, there's going to be some spoilers in here. This is an issue one, and I am highly recommending this book and anything I could do to get you. If you want to just trust my word and go out and get the first issue and the video right now, dude, it's cool. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, you, you, you probably, probably want to get the comic book, and I'm going to start doing everything in my power to get you to do that now. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about it, then I'm going to start spoiling it. I'll tell you when I start doing the, the, the switch. So this is basically about some kind of a disease that affects 1% of the population. Those people are called the one percenters. Usually I have a very disparaging look towards people uh, that are otherwise known as one percenters, uh, one percenters, but that's usually in the monetary uh, feasibility. In this particular case, <laughs> we're dealing with one percenters who are 1% of the human population who are actually susceptible to this virus that was put out. And everybody has the virus. It was, it, it's out there, done. We're all infected by this thing. It's much like, you know, The Walking Dead, the TV show, at least. Uh, um, I don't remember if they did that in the comic book, but everybody is, in fact, uh, in fact, I'm pretty sure they did, but everybody is actually infected with the disease. The question is, do you have an immunity to it? And if you don't, you're one of the 1%. So at first I'm sitting here thinking, okay, this is weird. At some point, they, somebody makes what I assume is a joke about somebody having psychic powers. Uh, I'm pretty sure that was a joke. Nonetheless, it turns out that this disease, the 1% of people who are affected by it, it turns out that they may very well be capable of becoming metahumans. Or in the Marvel Comics version mutants. So it's activating a mutant gene or more likely they're just becoming metahumans like in the DC universe. Um, I'm now going to switch over to the spoiler mode. So you've been warned. We start off with a cool party and I'm telling you like the first page is just it is what it is. It's somebody walking in and he seems to be a little bit sick. He's gagging some scientist guy named Patterson and you forget about this very quickly afterwards. Um, which is good because they're trying to make you forget about it. Obviously, this is a very crucial, important part of the entire comic book series, however long this is going to run for. And uh, they're trying to make it something so that you suddenly recall in issue six or whatever that, oh, yeah, that scientist in the first issue in the first like three pages. Yeah, that guy. Um, and it is only like the first three pages. He's in there. His son is in the part. There's this big party. The guy just got promoted, whatever. And they're talking about this, uh, this thing, this, uh, what is it? Strix. Uh, that's the name of this virus that's out there. He did something. All right. He's, he's dying right now. He actually is about to die in his son's arm at his surprise party. It, 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 this comic book endeared me really quickly because we start off with the whole, uh, surprise, 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 surprised. <laughs> That was, that was cool. It was a stupid little thing, but I looked and I was like, okay, that was pretty cool because that's how people actually act. Uh, so really good demonstration of the way that people move. Um, just again, still on the first page, boom, look at this, uh, the, the glass falling. Drawing motion is not easy. I know that because I suck at drawing motion. I haven't practiced it so long. I suck at drawing anything at this point, but 
but this was this this was pretty good. We got this uh, hot mama over here, and she is a mama, and she's hot. And you see her naked later on in the book, dude. I could turn to that page, but then all of a sudden I get flagged. I gotta go on Pornhub with the thing. And I do I do reviews on Pornhub. Go check out Comic Book University on Pornhub if you think I'm joking. I'm a, I'm a Pornhub star, guys. <laughs> but with this. Um, She's a teacher. She's also the husband of one of the guys, uh, the, the the other professor who was there. And um, he is one of the one percenters. So she and her daughter go up to visit um, husband, dad, respectively, to, um, to hang out with him for a little while. And it's a really nice community and whatnot. And there's a callback joke in here. There's a comment about wait, so like they probe people at this place called Eden, the one percenters. It's just some stupid kid. Just, you know, he's, he's a dumb kid. And he's he's named. I'm wondering if that means we're going to come back to that kid at some point. Anyway, um, this other kid comes along, and he's actually the good kid. And um, let's see, blah, 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 blah. Maybe he'll... Yeah, yeah, this is where the joke actually comes up. I, I imagine it's a joke. He actually says, dangerous psychic powers aside. Wait a second now. So does this professor actually have dangerous psychic powers? And we get to see the, hold on, let me see if this is the nudity part. No, this is not the nudity part. Okay, we're good, no nudity parts here. Anyway, cool stuff here about, you know, the little bear, uh, the little rabbit, whatever, stinking, the little daughter. It's like, you know, dude, watch this thing. It was in the laundry basket for a reason. Don't pull it out of the laundry basket. We need to clean the damn thing. All of this, all of this, this is believable. Beautiful sunset through a window nonetheless, dude. Pretty much everything about this book. We're golden. We're golden. Later on, we come across um, this guy who, much like a, a Richter or an Avalanche character, he seems to be incapable of controlling this new power that he's got. And he summons an earthquake, brings down an entire building. I'm going to show you the last page now. That's how serious I am about the spoilers in this. The whole damn thing comes down. Oh, it's called, what is this thing called? Arrow Bank. Arrow Bank. What is this? Call back to Avengers Mansion? And that's the daughter's um, bloody rabbit afterwards. Is the family dead? This was a really good book. This was a solid comic book from beginning to end. It's one of those, this is a comic book that's been sitting right over here in my in my pile of to read stuff it's been at the top though every time i get something new that i haven't read or i want to reread i literally put it under this stack because you know or under this book because i promised i would read the book the guy sent me the book you got to freaking review a comic book if somebody sends it to you it's it's not cool for them to pay price you know the shipping prices to canada for a lousy comic book i i got to review the freaking comic book this is one of those comic books, and every single one of you has had this exact same experience at some point or another. Unless you're, this is the first comic book you're picking up, this is the first time you're on my channel, you will have this uh, experience soon. I promise you, everybody does. It's a comic book that you look at, you're like, kind of interested, let me put it over here, I'll review it later. You know, I had my main bunch of books I had to review first, right? I gotta get out all the Marvel and DC stuff, I gotta get the image and the IDW stuff out first, right? finally get to this book I'm just like okay let me just give this book a, a, a read really quick let me see what's up and suddenly I became engrossed I'm like why the hell didn't I read this two weeks ago I've had this book for about two weeks now wow I could have enjoyed this a lot sooner I don't know when issue number two is going to come out I hope that the that this guy Adem actually uh, checks out the the review and comments below if he does I will pin the comment up top so you guys can see it but when issue number two comes out, I hope that you have the opportunity to pick that one up and issue one, because this is one of those comic books that actually go someplace. This is one of those comic books that, actually, that can actually make Scout Comics one of those serious contenders. I could be a contender. I was a content. No, they could genuinely be a contender, because this, if, they, if they're going to keep on putting out books like this, nah, dude, welcome to the new IDW world. Welcome to the new image world. Before you know it. Um... Good stuff, and let's be realistic. Everything that I just got finished telling you this, what am I basically telling you? This is the beginning, or at least it could be the beginning, of an entire new universe, where suddenly we get superhero characters showing up, we got people that are on the good side, people that are on the bad side, basically like X-Men year one. That's what this could genuinely be. 
you know, without using X-Men characters because lawsuit. Um, but this could almost be like an X-Men year one. This could be like an invasion from the DC universe year one. This is, and invasion itself would be like, you know, year zero. That's how I feel about this comic book. Really good stuff. Really good job. Uh, thank you for sending me the personalized, I don't care about signed, I want personalized signed comic book. Genuinely appreciate because I don't sell my comic books. And I'm now switching this to the file away in my boxes pile. Uh, good stuff, guys. Definitely go and check this out. Give this a read. Grab issue one. Physical copy. Grab issue one. It's one of those comic books. It might wind up becoming something at one point. Professor Bill Comic Book University. Class dismissed.